AFTV, um, time to get into the player ratings and they would be a bit more favourable, I would <laughs> have thought, than um, they were on Sunday when DT had the uh, the big zeros handing out. Um, but there'll be no zeros, I would have thought, tonight. Um, easy, relaxed performance by Arsenal on a real terrible yeah. pitch, by the way. Yeah. But they got the job done. Mm -hmm. Six out of six, through to the next stage. Could get United. No, it won't get United in the no, next can't stage. Get ne can't yeah, get them that out. early, but no. um, listen, uh, let's get stuck into it. It's, it's ironic that some of these United fans have been yeah. mock mocking us about Thursday yeah. night and now they're, they're yeah. here as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's ironic as well that Manchester United fans are doing live streams of our game and mocking Thursday nights when you're <laughs> going to be doing it yourself very soon. I know, oh, it's, it's really... Oh, oh. <clears throat> yeah, we'll That's see. what I thought. I bet that was planned before they went out of the uh, Europa League, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, right, it's all we, won't, right. we won't get into Better that. Better tell your missus, there's no Emma Dale on a Thursday. <laughs> right, let's get into it. The uh, player ratings in mm -hmm. goal, Runison. Uh, free. Um, free? Yep, straight in there, free. I thought he was the one that didn't fill me with any confidence at all. I don't want to be too harsh, but at the same time, you've got to be real with the vote. I think he was Don't want to be too harsh. But the thing is, and we spoke about it when we did your fan cam, mm -hmm. anything happens to Leno, he's the second in, in command. Yeah, and that's a worry. He's a in. big worry. And you know? I'm just being real. Would you give him more than a three? Yeah, he didn't really, he didn't do really, he didn't have a lot to do, and what he had to do, he didn't do well. Exactly. So, mm. yeah, you can't get a high score at all. No, no. he was poor. Um, Cedric? Um, I thought it was a good performance. I'll give him a seven. I thought... Defensively looked good. I thought attack looked good. Throw-ins looked good. Crossing looked good. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> uh, but I, no, I thought it was a, a good enough performance all round. I thought it was very solid, done the job that he was asked to do. And I liked his energy tonight. He had a mm. lot of energy getting up and down. So maybe that's a little something mm. that he's trying to, you know, push a bit further, which can knock could, on the door. He's got to be knocking on the oh, door. Oh, he has to be. He has to be. Got to be knocking on the has door to be. for a start. Has after to be. Bellerin's been, last few games have been very poor. Mm -hmm. um, on the other wing, uh, wing back, we had Ainsley Maitland Niles. Um, again, I don't think it was a bad performance. I thought he mm. got forward at times, I thought he tried and worked hard as well. Maybe lacked a little bit of cutting edge. Sometimes but release the ball yeah. a bit quicker, you know what I mean? Um, I would say, quick, I, I would give him a six, but based on the fact that where Cedric was getting crosses in, Maitland-Niles didn't really mm. get crosses in, but I suppose that's because he's, he's more, side, yeah. you know, it's not his natural side yeah. to whip crosses in, but um, I'll give him just a little less than Cedric because I felt mm. in the final third, Cedric was a little bit more dangerous with his deliveries. Okay, the, the returning Callum Chambers. Um, I thought it was a decent enough performance. Shame it, that goal was disallowed towards the end because that was mm. a very nice flick um, for the goal. But he was offside, and um, I think he'll be just happy to get, you know, the minutes under his belt at competitive level. Mm. And um, I don't think he had a lot to do. I don't think he was too involved in the the goals itself. Like he wasn't directly in that section where it. First goal, I don't know. It's all I'm three centre that, halves. I'm trying to remember that seemed first to, goal. It seemed a bit too easy the way yeah. their player got through for, all, for, for that goal. But yeah, and they did concede two goals, we did. Mm. So with the centre backs, I'm going to give him a six. Mustafi? Um, God, he was captain, wasn't he? Oh my God. Um, same thing. Can't really say much more, just a six. I think okay. it was pretty straightforward. And Pablo Mari? Again, I felt there was good and bad parts to his game. I felt that he looked a little too off the pace with some of the deliveries, but at the same time, I felt some of his intercepting and his movement and the way he was passing the ball was really mm. good. So I'll give him a six as well. I think he was. I think mm. the three of them, there weren't a lot to choose between either of them. There was mm. nothing outstanding and nothing dreadful. Just kind of okay. standard for me. El Nini. Excellent goal. Great goal. Um, I think his work rate, his energy and everything else. I'll give him a seven for his performance. I thought it was decent out there on a tough pitch. And, um, you know, the fact he came off as well kind of gives an indication that he's probably in plans for Sunday. Mm. But seven for me. OK. Um, Willock. Um, goal goal again. Always seems to pop up with goals. Goals from midfield. We get goals yep. from midfield in the Europa League. We don't score mm. no goals from midfield in the league. You know, you know what it is? I... The midfields in the with, with his performance, that we've come up against ain't been great. Yeah, uh, with his performance, I don't think it was standout, mm. but he scored. 
And he has a, you know... He gets into the box, doesn't he? Yeah, he has that habit of doing it. It's just, I really hope that he could, you know, transfer it into the Premier he League. Has to, yeah. Because the couple of performances he's had of late where he's got an opportunity and everyone's been crying out for him to have an opportunity, I don't feel he's really he's took it. Yeah. But he did get the goal as well. So I'll give him a seven based on the fact he got a goal. OK, um, Pepe. Um, I thought his link-up play was good tonight. Got the assist for Balogun as well. Um, and I just, yeah, there was a couple of moments where you you want him to take his man on a bit more. I think it was a tough pitch as well. It was really difficult for dribbling because every time you try keeping the ball close to your feet, it was mm. like this. Um, but overall, I thought it was a decent enough performance. I'll give him a seven for his. Okay. Um, Eddie and Ketcha. Scored a really nice goal, but then the rest of his play, I didn't really... You know mm. what I mean? It's, it's tough. I'm, I'm gonna give well, him. He a did all right. Yeah. Well, no. I'm gonna give him a seven as well. A couple of times he's a bit too greedy. I that, think. that's what I'm alluding yeah. to. Is that, that you know there was a moment when Balogun come on and the first thing he did control pass and that's how Joe Willock got his goal. Whereas Eddie, he had a couple of moments where it's you're screaming at the telly, pass, pass, pass the ball. And I don't know whether he's over eager and he really wants to try and score to impress and feel that that's how he's going to stamp his you know, mm. mark on the side or whether he's just being greedy and not, mm. you know, playing well, in his Well, that is being greedy. Yeah, it is. Mm. But if they go in, you don't mind. But this is mm. the... It's a great finish for his goal, though. Brilliant goal. That was an exceptional finish. Mm. The little dink over the keeper, even the strength to get beyond the defender. Mm. I thought that was really good. So, seven as well for me. Okay. Um, Emil Smith-Rowe. I thought he had a quiet game. I do. Um, I felt his movement was good. But I don't feel we got enough of the ball. I don't think he got on it mm. enough. Like, he's going to get the assist for El Nene. But that's one of them ones where you go, really? Because mm. that's just all mm. about El Nene. But mm. the statistics will say, and also before I got uh, an assist. But I just would like to have seen him more on the ball because I yeah. think that he's so creative. But given it's his first competitive start, um, I'll give him a six. OK, um, Balogun, come on a sub. You know what? I'm gonna Lit give. Up. Um, you know what? I'm gonna give him an eight, mm. and I'll tell you why. Because when he came on, I, I, I felt his hold-up play was good. I think his energy was good. He got an assist. He got a goal. I just feel that for a 30-minute cameo, it was a really good cameo. He mm. wanted to be involved. He wanted the it's ball. Hungry. Perfect word. And you mm. know, because of that, I feel that he deserves that. Their markings for that because. Mm. I felt that he, he was just so involved, so demanding of the ball, you know, no fear, no, you know, just wanted it. Mm. So hey. I'm going to give him that based okay. on that Cultural. performance. Um, saw some good moments. I can't really give him more than a six based on how long he was on there. But mm. you can see why he's so highly thought of and why he's been so good with the under 23s. And mm. um, yeah, I can't give him more than a six, but I thought it was okay. assured enough. Miguel Aziz? You know what? I really like the look of mm. him. Um, I thought he looked really comfortable, really composed. Um, what I liked about him is that I was watching some of him in the mid middle area and he's just constantly left and right looking over his shoulders, always getting an awareness and understanding. Never standing still, always moving, picking up a little gap, a pocket. It doesn't matter where it is on the pitch, he just seems to have an awareness of what's around him. Then there was a moment towards the end where he was caught tight in the corner, and it was a little movement, shoulder out of the tight mm. spaces. And that's, you know, composure and feeling comfortable in your own ability. So he didn't have long, so we won't give him more than a six. But I really did like, you know, what I saw okay. from him. Arteta? Um, look, give the manager credit when he gets it right, criticise him when he gets it wrong. So um, I think that the lineup. Bar Balogun starting would have been what we all Mind you got expected. that right, because Eddie did score them. Yeah, partner, so. so, you know, maybe some people need to trust the manager in what he's trying to do. And he we, knows, uh, we're trusting him in the Europa. Yeah, but listen... We're not trusting him in the knows, league at the moment. But he knows these players better than anyone. Mm. So if he says Balogun's not quite ready and I want to do like this or that, and, mm. you know, he sees them every day. He knows them better than all of us. Mm. So... Um, Give him an eight because six wins out of six in the Europa League is no yeah, mean feat. We're the only, and I keep saying this, don't matter who you're playing or anything else, but there's other teams, you know, um, from the Premier League that are in the Europa League that have lost games, that have drawn games. You know, you look at the likes of Celtic and their, you know, campaign mm. that they've had and, 
Yeah, but they were up against like AC Milan and teams like that. Yeah, but you say that. <laughs> but, you say, but you say that. Rob, yeah, but Robbie, at the end of the day, you say that. So it went 2 0 up against AC Milan and then completely capitulated. Yeah, but that's I'm saying it's a much harder opposition. But that's their own downfall. You know I mean? but, they, but they were. No, Ibrahimovic up front for Dundalk, isn't it? Yeah, but they were ahead in those games. Yeah, I know, but so it's, that's you what can't, I'm you know, it's an easy. But then look at the other ones. Easy right, let's, go and have a look at, easy let, let's go and have a look at who Tottenham lost to Antwerp. Yeah, and let's yeah. have a look at the, the Leicester uh, defeat last week. And then wasn't it Spurs drew 3 3 with uh, Ludogorets, was it? Mm. So what I'm saying is it's not taken away because they've all done their jobs and got through to the next round. I'm just trying to explain that six out of six is still something, you know, you can't, yeah. you know, laugh at and say, oh, well, it's only that mm. or that. You've got to go out and play what's in front of you. Get the job done. So give him his credit. Give him an eight. It was a good lineup. I thought the team played well. That's mm. the, the other part. The team played well. Looked fluid, the passing, the movement and everything. It's his tactics, his setup. So, yeah, give him the credit. Okay, well, those are the uh, player ratings. It's, um, yeah, let's hope we can be hearing the same sort of player ratings come Sunday. This video is brought to you by eToro. Now, you may have seen that eToro sponsor a number of Premier League clubs, and you might be wondering, who are they? Well, eToro is a global investment platform with over 16 million registered users, which offers everything from stocks, currencies and commodities to cryptos like Bitcoin. Now, if you don't have time to invest, eToro is perfect. You can use eToro's copy trader feature, copy top performing investors, so when they make a trade, you make the same trade automatically at no additional cost. So if you're looking to start investing and you want to find out more about eToro, then click the link in the description and get on it right now.